Hello Legends, Elder here. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today I want to talk about the impact of training on heart rate zone. If you guys remember a little while ago I did a video specifying how you calculate your heart rate zone based on functional threshold heart rate. And then all these group rides I'm doing, I'm talking about what zone I'm in, I'm in zone three, I'm at the bottom of zone four, and so forth and so on. And I realized that this video is a missing gap in getting you guys to really appreciate what I'm talking about. Um, you can calculate your zones and you and somebody, I can, be, I can have a heart rate of 150 beats a minute and the next guy can have 150 beats a minute. But I can feel much better at my 150 and he can be dying at his 150. I'm using that as an example. I'm just picking these numbers arbitrarily. The point I'm trying to make is, as you, after you set up these zones, as you do the work, that's why you got to get out there. As you do the work, over time, you will produce more power in each of these zones. So when you're starting out early, say you're producing 100 watts in zone 2. After a block of training, it might be 110 or 120 average. I'm just coming up with numbers. But what I'm trying to get you guys to realize is that, I may be doing 160 beats per minute and the other day, remember Alan in the video asked me, what's my heart rate? He may be at the same beat per minute, but I may be putting out more or less power than he is depending on how much work he's done or how much work I've done. And based on our natural physiology, you know, and the, the talents and the, the genes that we have. So you can't just focus on, oh, I got 160 beats a minute and this guy got 160 beats a minute. If that guy is very trained, very experienced, and has the talent. He might be at 160 beats a minute while you're dying at your, your red line, okay? Because as you train more, your body will do more work in each zone. So it takes more and more work to move through the zones. And so that's why when you watch the video last week that I did, even though I had a block a week where I was, or my rest week, I didn't ride. I kept telling you guys, yeah, my heart rate is 140, is easy. It wasn't easy for everybody in that group. You saw people getting dropped while I was coming to the front just to take a poll to keep the second group together. And that's why I wanted to make this video to get you, this is to get you excited about training because you need to realize that when you go out there and do the work and you stay consistent, you will make more power in each zone. You will go faster in each zone. So for me now, when I'm in zone two or zone three, that's somebody else's zone five who has not prepared. And you saw the ride. People get in dropped and I'm in zone four. And I've got three other zones that I can go to to really drop the hammer, you know. I wanted to take this time just to stress that. Leave your questions and comments below. But the reason for doing this video is to let you know, get out there, ride your bike, don't let anything stop you because you gotta build those power zones. Your power in each zone will increase the more you train. So get out there and ride. Even if you don't have any gadgets, just ride your bike. Z8 Eldred out.